Hey guys, so at one plus five to see the final version of the Android Oreo Oxygen OS 5.0 update. And pretty quickly, even for the one plus five theory, see that. So we're gonna go over new features and we'll also do a quick speed test comparison as well. So next we have a quick speed test comparison between the one plus five on N7 Nougat and on Android 8 Oreo. And filmed a quick video here before upgrading. Now the OnePlus 5 already extremely fast booting up, so not expecting a big difference here, but we'll see. And right after this, we'll do games, apps opening, and multitasking. Okay, so good to see. It looks like the Oreo version, at least three or four seconds faster there. So yeah, definitely good to see that. So next up, a quick comparison of the games and apps opening. So all these are already extremely, extremely fast, not expecting a big difference here. And so far looking pretty similar. Yeah, very, very similar so far. And obviously this phone already one of the best on the market in terms of games, apps, opening, uh, especially multitasking. So again, guys, not going to notice a huge difference here. But it will be making these speed tests a lot harder in 2018. But there is at least some room for improvement uh, with the multitasking. I'll show you guys in a second. And once the 5 t gets engine Oreo, we'll do a uh, full speed test comparison, camera comparison with that. And final one, the cam app. All right, so now a brief look at the multitasking portion. So these first couple apps, very, very minor refreshing there. And YouTube actually refreshes this time, last time it did not. But that one can be a bit sporadic. And same here, I find that one is actually refreshing. So yeah, a lot, of, uh, a lot of times this can be a bit random, but not really much of a difference here. Okay guys, so let's go over the new features next. Next up is Facial Unlock, which is kind of a trend this year, so they did add this option in. It was already available previously on the 5T, but now it's available on the 5 as well. So go into your security, uh, and then click on Smart Lock right here. And then from here, put in your pin, and you have an option there for Facial Unlock. So let me just show you guys a quick example of this. Now just to be honest guys, I think it's a pretty bad way of locking your phone, because first you have to press the power button. And then you have to look at your phone and swipe up like this. So it is so much easier just pressing the frame scanner right here. Uh, so much faster, simpler. Now I do understand it a bit more on the 5T because on that the frame scanner is on the back. But for the uh, OnePlus 5 really makes no sense to me to do it. But it is still pretty good having the option at least. And this should show you if I'm not facing towards the phone like this. And I swipe up. Then it asked me to enter my pin instead. The camera UI is also overhauled as well. So for example, let's say you want to access slow motion mode. So you actually swipe to the left like this, and then you have the settings right there. And also if you use shop by one plus, you can upload directly through this, although personally I don't use it. And you can just swipe to the left anywhere on the screen, probably easier doing it in the middle here. Because let's say if you're going like this, could actually hit the camera button right there. Notification dots were also added for the update. And as you guys see right here, NBC News in the top right corner, there's a blue dot right there. So go ahead and hold down on it. And right there is a notification. Quick settings are also slightly improved. 
And as you guys see, we now have one additional call me on the right side. Notifications, you also have an additional option here if you swipe to the left, or rather to the right like this. If you press right here, you can snooze it for an hour or set a time limit yourself. Also new to Android Oreo is picture in picture mode. So for example, I have a video playing here in full screen in Chrome. And I press the home button right here. Now as you guys see, I have the picture right here. I can do anything I want in the background. Bring up the YouTube app while I have YouTube playing here in Chrome. And press on once to expand, can make it full screen again by pressing right there. Or if I want, I can dismiss it at the bottom here. And Chrome never actually closes out, uh, but as you guys see, pretty easy to get back in there. And this works for videos in Chrome, works for YouTube Red. Uh, you can do Google Maps with it, so not that many options at the moment, but the list is expanding at least. There's also smart text, so for example, if someone sends you an address, you can hold down on it, just long press on it. And then you have the option to bring up Google Maps, so just one example of many. And as long as you're signed into Google, there's a lot more options for autofill. So for example, let's say you're on an app, you're on Chrome, and you have an address to type in, uh, username and password, they should be available there. And a quick look at the uh, Android 8 Oreo Easter egg as well. I think most guys are aware of this by now, but it is an octopus. The update also has a lot of fixes and minor optimizations to the battery and other apps. Uh, and also some apps updated like the clock app, the calculator app. But again, it's pretty minor and it's way too much stuff to include in the video. Alright guys, so let me know in the comment section below if there's anything I missed and hopefully the video helped you out. Now if you guys liked the video and want some more like it, press the button in the middle there right on my face to subscribe for more. Or you can press it in the corners there for another video right now. And as always, thank you for watching.